Hello, I'm Rob with the B, and this is 101 Ways to Make Fire. Tonight, the sun is gone. That's why it's called night. So I will show you how to make fire with... The Devil's Breath. <laughs> First, we're going to head for the laundry cupboard where the maid keeps all the old rags. We're looking for a thick cotton cloth, something like denim or a khaki twill. This will work. Perfect. Hang on. Oi! What's this? Honey! My favorite shirt! Next, we need an airtight container. I'm going to use a Zambuck tin. Like a naughty walrus, you're looking for a nice tight seal. Now we need to make a hole in the lid of the tin. You could use the awl of a Swiss army knife. I'm going to use a nail and a hammer. Perfect. Look at that. Precision engineering. Then we're going to cut the fabric into squares to fit inside the tin. If you want to be really cool, you can do this in fast motion. They call me Robert Scissorhands at the sewing club. Now stack the piece of fabric loosely into the tin. Just shove it in there, she said. Right, close it up and we're ready to go outside. And we're going to take one of these with us, a welder's flint lighter. Like you use for oxyacetylene torches. We're doing this outside because we're about to release a jet of noxious flammable gases. Let's have a look, shall we? What's coming out right now is basically steam. It's not going to burn. It's not going to burn, Rob. We're going to need to wait another couple of minutes. Hey, who turned on the camera? I was still on my tea break. Okay, that's better. As long as there's still oxygen in the tin, the byproducts are mostly carbon dioxide and water vapor, neither which is flammable. But we're almost there, I promise. Yes, it's burning and eternal flame. Behold, fire!